Yeah, Dante, exactly. Well, Dante, he's going to start with the basic geometric shape. All of our characters do. And he's going to start with the circle. Though, as you pick up those pencils, you notice that something's missing on the end of the eraser. Uh, that's because what we're doing is called a rough sketch. So you want to keep your lines light and loose. And the stuff that we want to keep, we'll go back and lock those lines in. Uh, that way, all the other lines are going to fade away into the background. So what a rough sketch is all about is getting your ideas on that sheet of paper. On the separate paper, you want to create a circle, I'd say about the size of a tennis ball, baseball is a good size. You just want to make sure you save enough room at the top for his ears, as well as at the bottom of the circle for his neck too. So I'm going to lightly sketch out mine up here. I promise lunch and I'm going to get into the darker again part, so if we really want to keep here for our dog. Uh, but for now, keep your lines really light and loose. So I'm sort of sketching out lots and lots of lines in here. That's really what we look for her foundation. If you don't like one side, you can always round it out until you got it to the way that you like it. All of these extra lines are really helping me to create in this one shape. I'm just blending them together so it looks like something I can really work with. We want to get add in his snout line here for him. So I'm going to divide this circle into half. I'm going to stretch it out over towards the left hand side. And I'm also going to add in a letter U curve that will curve down past the bottom of the circle. So it's going to kind of end up looking like you're creating in this like lemon slice here for him or like apple slice here for him as well. So it's like kind of like sitting in front of your orange. All right, so now we've got really our basic foundation here uh, for our dog. I'll also uh, lightly sketch out where his neck is going to sit. So I'm going to hop over it's really towards the edge of the circle and I'll sketch out just curve lines, just sketching this out and down. And I'll go right through my oval shape or over here along the side, just adding in just another line, just going right here for him. So you can already see that Dante is going to be looking over towards the, more towards the left hand side. But right now we have this sharp point or corner where his nose is going to sit. I kind of think of his nose as it looks like a little gumdrop shape here for him. So I'm going to shave off just a little piece of this apple slice up here along the top. But I'm going to also round out the top here of his nose too, I'm adding in this rainbow curve. Now his nose is something that I want to keep, so I'm just going back with more of a heavier line uh, to really lock that into place. I'll add in some little nostrils here for him too by drawing in these little baby watermelon seeds, little apple seeds here along the sides here of his nose. Kind of almost think of it as it even kind of looks like a little alien too. Uh, but now we can really start to give him uh, the rest of his muzzle. Uh, to create in his muzzle, he's going to have this like jowl here underneath his nose and right on top of this U shape here for him, I'm going to draw in this little rainbow curve or you can also think of it as like a candy cane curve here too. And on the left hand side, I'm just going to curve that over towards the side here of his nose by drawing in this like letter J curve over here along the side. And hopping over here on the right hand side, I'm just going to pick out my favorite line down here at the bottom of this U shape and to really start to give him this big open mouth smile. And we can really open up his mouth here for him as well. So hopping over towards the edge of the circle, I'll make a U-turn and it's curving this right back outside here of his neck. I was keeping all of my lines really light and loose here at the bottom. Because when a dog is super happy, what is usually hanging out of their mouth? Yeah, the top. Uh, so right now it kind of looks like I'm giving him like a little sharp fin down here at the bottom. Uh, for his tongue, his tongue is like super long that he can even lick his own eyeball there for him as well. 
Uh, so for the inside here, for his tongue, I'll add in this like candy cane curve. So I'm just stretching this out and down here for him. So he's got a fairly long tongue. And sitting right next to it, I'm gonna add in another candy cane curve. And I'll loop this up and around and just curving that right back over towards the side here of his mouth. Uh, with this tongue locked in, I can start to also go back and lock in the rest of his mouth here for him as well. Aldante is a Zolo dog, which is like a, a national breed of, for Mexico as well. And this dog breed is like super old as well. Uh, the, these like uh, dogs actually lose their teeth uh, rather young too. So I'm gonna draw in these like random like little baby shark fins here for his teeth. I like to say more of those sharper point stain glows, more for our villain-like characters. So you can really place in his teeth like wherever you want here for him. And that's why like also why his tongue is always hanging out of his mouth there for him too. And it's like a hairless uh, type of breed of dog. Well, it's like nearly hairless, like not completely hairless there for him. I can even add in some over here along the side of his mouth too. You can even go back and even shade his mouth in too to really make the tongue and even the teeth uh, stand out that much more here in the sketch. And if you use the side of the pencil, it helps to give you this nice even tone and you won't get those little screechy scratchy marks there for him either. Uh, we can also add in really the rest here of his lower lip. So I'm gonna curve that right back in towards the side here of his neck. Uh, so from that U shape, just curving that right back in towards the side. I'll even lock in really the rest of the bottom of his neck over here along the left hand side here for him too. All right, so we've already sketched out really the bottom half here of Dante, uh, but now we can really move up to the most expressive part for any character, a character's eyes. Of uh, where his eyes are gonna sit is they're gonna sit right on top of our construction line here. And uh, for his left eye, it's actually gonna peek outside of our circle a little bit here for him as well. So it's very lightly sketching out a circle here for his eye. I'd say that it goes about like halfway up towards the rest of the circle. And sitting right up above his smile over here on the right hand side, I'll lightly sketch out another circle here for him. Well, at this point, we can start to go back and really pick out our favorite line, a little piece of my circle on his left hand side there for him. Uh, since that nose or like his snout is sticking out a little bit further. I'm gonna go back and really pick out my favorite lines to lock his eyes here into place. Uh, but for the pupils, you can place them anywhere inside the eyes you want. So you can have it more like he's thinking or looking over at your neighbor, a little googly eyed if you really wanted to, or maybe he's hungry. You can add in like a doggy bone for a pupil. Uh, but I'll have him be looking over towards the side. Like maybe like Miguel is like over there. So he's like looking at him. So I was adding in some circles here along the insides here uh, for his pupils. But however you sketch his pupils into place, uh, you really want to make sure that they're the darkest part here of the sketch. Uh, this is where all of the focus goes to is right inside those eyes. So I was making sure that they're really standing out nice and dark. We can also give him some eyelids here too, uh, by hopping up above his eyes and adding in a couple of little baby curves. But we also wanna give him some eyebrows here too. Uh, for his eyebrow over here on the left-hand side, uh, sitting right on top of his eye, I'm gonna add in this candy cane arch. So I'm gonna break this here on the outside of the circle and it's curving that right back in here for him. And hopping over here on the right hand side, I'll add in another rainbow arch following the curve here of his eye. I'm 
just going to blend that right back in towards my favorite lines here along the sides and it's locking in really the back side here of his head shape here for him as well. Uh, so right now it kind of looks like we've got more like Gerald the Seal sitting here <laughs> on our page right now at this point. Uh, so we're still missing something for him at the top of his head, right? What are we missing? Yeah, yeah his ears. Uh, for his ear over on the left hand side, I kind of think of it as it looks like a shark fin uh, peeking out here for him. So I'm going to hop over here towards the side here of his eyebrow. I'm going to stretch out a curved line, so stretching this up and out. And also lightly sketching out a backwards letter C and just curving that over towards the construction line here on the right hand side. Uh, for the ear over here on the left hand side, this one's going to be folding over here on itself. So right on top of his eyebrow, I'll add in a curved line halfway from that ear on the right hand side. And I'm just going to turn this into like a stretched out number seven or you can also think of it as like an upside down letter L shape as well. And then I'm just going to turn this into more of a pizza slice by almost curving it back in towards that point here of that upside down L shape there for him. So it's lightly sketching this into place. Kind of looks like a little flag here too. Uh, but with the ear folding down here on itself, from that top corner on the left hand side, I'll lightly sketch right through and just curving that right back over towards the side here of his head. And I'll start to go back and lock in his ear here on the left hand side of uh, the parts that I do see here for him. But over on the right hand side here for him, he also has got a little nick here on the inside here of the ears. Uh, he has been like in like some like maybe some street fights there for him as well uh, with him being a street dog. So I was drawing in just a little cut out here of his ear. And I'll start to go back and really pick out my favorite lines here along the sides. So anything that's not being covered up by that little nick there in his ear there for him as well. I can also add in some more folds here along the insides here of his ear as well. So I'm just drawing in just a tapered line, just curving that right back mm -hmm. up towards the top here of his ear. Down here towards the bottom there for him as well. Now he is a nearly hairless dog, but he does have got some hairs up here along the top. Kind of looks like a little mohawk up here along the top here for him. Uh, so you can really place him really wherever you want. Uh, the Pixar said like he's like a nearly hairless uh, dog. And that he's like described as more of like a sausage that got like a... Uh, that rolled around on a barbershop like floor there for him. Uh, so you're going to add in some like random hairs like all throughout his body here for him. I'll even give him some short little doggy whiskers right here on his muscle there for him as well. Uh, but really the last step an artist needs to make though is a signature and you can sign your name wherever you feel it fits best. And after all done, you have sketched out your very own spirit guide named Dante. All right, so how did we all do? Um, hmm. 